first game on our list is Realistic Street Sector 3 vs 3. Let's go for the pros straight away. It has fun goofy gameplay, big healthy player base, one of the biggest from Roblox football games. It's fast based so it's really feels fun to play and the cons are the graphics really outdated lack of mechanics you basically have three things to do slide for tackle dodge and shoot and low animations you can clearly see that the so next game on the list is tps street sucker pros simple to learn hard to master you have only things you can do slide and shoot but people find out when you raise your ping you can do a lot of dribbles like infinity dribbles zzs and so so yeah because of that it has pretty big skill gap and it has really big community again one of the biggest for roblox football world cause pretty toxic community there are stupid powers that people can use to kill you or make some walls and so and there is again lack of mechanics because you have only those two things to do next game kickoff club it's basically like a pso but in roblox so it's free it's fast paced so it's fun to play it's easy to play but hard to master exactly like pso but pso is a little bit harder but the cons are it has very small player base you don't have roblox avatar in game what is actually a really big deal for me and i don't like the character models in game they're really thick and big and it doesn't fit so much in the game in my opinion touch football it's a really simple game so re you really fast get into it it has really good player base it's fast paced fun to play and it's really chill because of the simplicity but that the simplicity is even the con of this game because for a lot of people it won't be so attractive so interesting to play so simple game the game has basically biggest lag of mechanics of every roblox football game because you only touch the ball with your character that's everything and there is again no roblox avatar in game and as i said it's really big deal for me super league sucker it's simple but it has fast and fun gameplay it has really good developers there is always some update for some visual things for some gameplay things and they are trying to improve it it has the biggest roblox sucker player base at all it has pretty nice graphics but the biggest con for this game it has unbalance and matchmaking you basically are winning hard or losing hard and there are ranks where you have a lot of time unfair matches because your team is left and they are not punished enough or again some team is thumping some is hard losing yes and last thing is lack of mechanics but actually you don't miss it so much in this game super block sucker it's a game with a lot of mechanics, you can curve the ball, you have a lot of dribbles, you have chess, you have header and so. There are working fouls, free kicks, penalties, corner kicks and so. It is pretty good football experience, it has decent player base, but it's really slow paced and that's what I'm not interested in. There is a lot of egoist solos in the game and I don't see any more cons for this game actually some bugs and so but that's not so big deal because it's roblox right <laughs> virtual football the biggest problem for this game is that the main game was deleted they're working on the part 2 and i'm really excited for that but for now you can play only my pitch from the game but i can say this was one of the best roblox soccer games i ever played it has really immersive gameplay because of the point of view it's really fun to play it's fast you can do things like step overs elasticos rainbow flicks and it feels so good in the game but still the game has some negatives small player base but like really small i don't know why but i hope it will be better with the second part there is no matchmaking you are in the server there are just few fields where you can play but you need to wait until the people finish and then fight for the spot there one more issue i had with this game was that the ball went through you if you didn't click header button what was really weird but basically that was something what a little bit killed that immersive experience and that's basically all i can say about this game i recommend to try it because it's really big fun once you get into it and now we just need to wait for the part two and hope it will fix the issues the game had 
Alright, and now we are getting into most advanced football games in Roblox. First game from these, and I played it on third place, it's MPS Foresight. Because we start with a lot of freedom in the game, you have a lot of mechanics and a lot of tools in the game, you have like five tool sets like shot, pass, long, tackle and dribble and for goalkeeper, goalkeeping tool and in every one of them you have many variations of skills you can use. For example you can use drag bags, pass bags, side passes, rainbow flicks, sombreros, flick ups and you have variation in shots, you can go for trivela, basic shot, volley, header, scorpion kick, bicycle kick and so and so. This game has pretty nice ball physique and I really like that on the game. It has really good and healthy player base. But the biggest issue with the game there are no fouls, no corner kicks, no free kicks. I think only goal kicks are in the game. The game is a little bit slower than I would like to. That's why I don't play it so often. So it's basically a little bit slow paced. And I can say like in Super Black Soccer there is a lot of egoists and soloists in this game because once you are good in skilling then there is really hard to punish you I would say until you find any similar player to you. But I can say this game is really good, people play leagues where they had referees and so, so it's really good game and if you like this style of a game you should definitely give it a try. Second place. TPS Ultimate Soccer. Even when TPS Ultimate Soccer is one of my main games, I can place it on uh, first place because of a lot of issues the game have. I will say that in the negatives. But for the positives, the game has really big freedom. Again, you have five tools and in every one of them you have a lot of things to do like MPS for side, so I won't explain it again. The game has faster pace than MPS for side, so that's really good and I like that. The ball is delayed, what allows you to do skill combos and because of that you have pretty big skill gap in the game, so people can learn a lot of amazing stuff, I can say. But for the negatives, even when I said delay is good for skill combos, I will play the delay to negative because of that there is a lot of issues like no react of the ball, bad reacts, there is like most noticeable reach, mobile player has advantage in the reach, what is good for competitive gameplay I guess, but not so good for basic people, game is really hard to get into because the delay makes it really hard to understand for new people and it's really hard to master because you have so many options what to do and it's about timing a lot so you need to find out proper timing for every tool. The ball is many times laggy, mainly when there is a mobile player near it because the game don't know what to do and Roblox netcode is not good enough. There is a toxic community, a lot of people bragging and crying and so, what can I say that's true. There is outdated goalkeeping tool because you have a lot of advanced shots in the game and goalkeeping tool is pretty slow for that to save them. There is a lot of VPN user and macro users because with higher ping you can dribble like amazing stuff because it makes the ball much more delayed so you have the time to do a lot of combos and there are macros we can say that exploit because when you combine some buttons it can do like amazing shots amazing passes and amazing dribbles but after all the game is not so bad even when I swear on it so many times and I'm angry with it so many times but still I can say if you think at all at this it's really good game And I saved the best for the last. MPS Futsal. The game is fastest from these. It feels so fun to play once you get into it. It has the biggest variation of tools of all Roblox Soccer games. It has perfect goalkeeping in my opinion because the animations are great, the ball physique is fast and the dives and so are fast too so it feels amazing to save something. It has pretty good ball physique. But for the negative, the game has small player base, game has no mechanics like foul, so there are no free kicks, uh, no penalties and so. And there is really one pay to win mechanic you can buy for Robux and it's black. And black allows you to combine more skill in the pro, so basically you can, I don't know, do a sombrero flick and in mid-air you can just redirect the ball sideways and so. That's just for 
example. And I don't see any more negatives for this game and they are actually working for the sequel for the game and man, I'm looking forward to that so much, I can't wait.